Hi, this is Deb with Pinecone Press Design and welcome to our Say Hello to Summer class. Now, this is such a really fun album. It's nice and quick. You can complete it in an afternoon and it's just ready for your summer pictures. So let's take a look at the project. It says Say Hello to Summer. We're going to review it quickly and then we'll go over it a little more in detail. So there are, uh, there are 24 pages here in this album. So enjoy the season. Everyone is welcome. Make a little pocket here if you want to make that or just add the border strip. Got a cutout page. You're going to be fussy cutting a pinwheel and adding a little heart to it. This we just left blank. Created some pockets. A pocket. You can see there's just a lot of going on here in this really fun album. Some nice little die cut pages, other pages, this. And as you see, it just kind of, you can sum up a lot of photos at a, a day at the beach or a lake and put it all together in one album or it could be your, over your summer. So let's take a look at, there's your quick preview of the project. Now here in your kit, you are going to be getting, you get your badges, your rings, you get a package of pockets. This is your pages. As with all the pine cone kits, they come with full colored instructions. So here are our instructions that um, page by page showing you what you get in your kit. And then we're going through and telling you each page by page throughout the whole album. So you get your 24 pages. Um, in this kit here, you do have then a little bit about Pinecone Press that we do monthly kits, that we do a mini album or a card kit. Most of them are about $30 each. They will vary a little bit on that, but we do a lot of mini album card kits, project kits. So there you have this strip here that gives you all of your words and some border pieces. I have this paper and this paper. So let's go ahead and take a look first at what we're going to do. Let's open up our pack of pages. Okay, and with that, we're gonna open up, we're going to go through and find what our first page is that we're using. So we are using kind of the page that is, this page here that is our whitewashed wood strip. So that is going to be our front cover piece. So then to begin with, I'm just gonna kind of keep this here side by side. You can see what we're doing as we're creating this. What's really nice here about this um, video is that you can stop and start whenever you want to. So you can take a look to see what we're doing, pause the video and then um, go on with the step. So I have found the page that I'm going to be using. I'm gonna set my um, pockets aside, my header there. I've got this page here. I want to cut out my Hello Summer. So if I look at my 12 by 12 paper, I've got a square Hello Summer. Let's cut that out. And also this next square four by four, Hey There Sunshine. I'm gonna be fussy cutting around that sunshine strip or that sunshine um, icon. With this Hello Summer, we do not want as much brown at the top and the bottom, so we trimmed off a quarter of an inch on the bottom and a quarter of an inch on the top. And it tells you that in your instructions. So it will say on there, it's showing you your Hello Summer, the front cover. Trim a quarter inch from the top and a quarter inch from the bottom edge. And then we're going to adhere that with pop dots. Now, if you're an inker, which a lot of times when we cut pieces, you want to ink them anyway, just to get rid of that white edge. So go ahead and ink around your, pay, um, your little icon here. And also, if you want to ink around each of the pages, go ahead and ink that. We used a vintage photo and a walnut stain, the distressed inks from Tim Holtz. We want to do that. So adhere that with pop dots and then adhere, fussy cut your sun and adhere that with your pop dots. Then our next page, be going through our little packets and that is just on that one, it is just the back side. So on these pages, we're not backing them, they're just um, as they are. So that's why we're getting our 24 full pages. So here comes sunshine. Now a lot of this is very easy to put together and it's going to be, the time is going to be finding your photos. And if you want to put one four by six photo, if you want to put two um, three by four photos on here, that is entirely up to you and depending on the photos that you have for that summer day. 
So then that's just the back side, so page our page one here. Then you had that strip of words. So we're going to be cutting apart all of these different words on here. So we have here, enjoy the season. So we'll be cutting across there. And you see, read a book, daydream, pull up a chair, everyone is welcome. So there are a lot of different little page accents all in this one strip. Then we have border strips here that we're going to be using to accent some of our photos. Okay, the next page then, pull out through your pages and find the page that is the stripe or the um, diagonal up and down stripe diagonals there. So you've got your stripe page. Go ahead, adhere your photos onto it. Cut out your word and put that on with pop dots. And you flip that over, we have our clouds on the back side. Again, from your border strip, you want to cut off your border and you're gonna make that eight inches tall. So you need to cut that off, make that an eight inch piece so that you could adhere that right onto your, your page. Add your photo, again, cut another word, add, fold your ribbons so that you can um, put that on before you put your pop dots on. And our next page we're going to be dealing with is the page that has our die cuts on it as I love our summer. And the pinwheel, that is going to come from your other 12 by 12 page that you have in, in your pack there. And we are fussy cutting around this pinwheel design. So go ahead and fussy cut that. Now we did, when we cut this, we either say hello to happy. We cut around that and save that for another page. Let me just show you that. So when you go to cut your pinwheel, I want you to be careful on cutting that because that say hello to happy is, okay. We have a lot of pages right here. So your say hello to happy. So again, Fussy cut your pinwheel. We saved that flower on there. So just follow the grid line, cut across, cross your stem around your flowers. And then we, you could fussy cut around these flowers if you wanted to. We just made it simple, cutting straight, and then follow your grid and come across there. So that is where that say hello to happy comes from. So you're gonna wanna save that. Also, you want to save your borders around here for more photo accenting. Okay, so let's go back here. So we're gonna add your photo. And again, we're just suggesting four by six. Now, so many of the photos in here, we just did four by six because when you get them developed, that's the predominant size that most everybody gets their photos developed. But you can, if you're printing your own, you can certainly choose whatever size that you want to. Do that, adhere the pinwheel that you fussy cut with pop dots. And then you have a package of these little stick on badges. Go ahead, pull out your badge from there and stick on to your um, pinwheel. And then your laugh a lot, go ahead and adhere that with pop dots. Back side of that page, put another four by six photo, tie a little ribbon knot, add that, and then adhere your watch the sunset with your pop dots. This is just kind of a fun, like, let us lay in the sun. We didn't do anything with this, but you certainly could add a photo if you wanted to on here. The back side of that page is our Say Hello to Summer. We put in a couple of photos. Our next one that we went through and pulled out was this one that's um, all the die cut hearts. And we wanted to add a pocket onto that page. So from your 12 by 12 paper, you're gonna cut out the I'm in love with summer. And we did not want that to go as far over with the ring, so it says just six inches, so that will fit right onto there. And in your cutting guide also, so we were wondering well, where did that come from? We're showing you on here, this is the pocket for page seven. The rest of that paper you're gonna save because that's gonna be your pages nine and 10. So I'm gonna make my pocket by putting adhesive on my three sides and adhering that down. Then I can create some photo tags. When I flip this over, then I want to 
take a piece of my ribbon and just tie through a couple of the hearts. When you go to tie your double knot, just be careful that you don't pull it too tight and that you um, pull through and break the ribbons there. Add your photo. Remember those strips that we talked about saving? Here's kind of a little diagonal border. Add a little bit of your strip on there. Use Listen to the Birds with Pop Dots and put that on there. Then when you have a whole packet of pockets. So with your packet of pockets, you have small, medium, and large size on your packet of pockets. You wanna pull those out. Then we're going to do kind of our quilted looking one here. You can take one of your pages and you want to see where you're gonna punch that hole so you can turn over this way, like line up your holes. Flip that over, mark it with a pen or pencil, and then take your crop a dial and just punch that out. This isn't going through, um, it's not that thick, so if you just had a regular hole punch, it, would, it could work for there. You do get a little thicker down here when you have the double layers of the heavy cardstock. But go ahead and punch a couple holes there so that can be inserted into your rings. Make a little photo tag pocket, add another one of your little badges that you have another one of your words, cut that out and put on there, take naps, if that's appropriate. Now these are just suggested. You can certainly, that whole list of words, go ahead and put on whatever they fit your photos. Or for you that are stampers, you have so many word stamps. Go ahead and do a word stamp or journaling and just write what you want to, to make that um, the photos not work with our pages here. On the back side of that envelope, we went ahead and put a photo. Before we put the photo down, just fold over in half and attach some ribbon. The next page that we did is not a page from your packet of pages here, but actually this was cut. This is the bottom portion of this. So we made a pocket. We took our four inch piece here. We have our eight inches left over. So we went ahead and made a six by eight inch page. And again, on this one, you're gonna want to line up your holes. You just kind of take these rings apart here. You can see that line that up with another one of your pages and just punch your holes so that that will fit right into your page there. The back side of that page, then we just add it. So you see there is the back side. And go ahead, add your photo, add your little ribbon, add a little um, diagonal border. Then next, you wanna take another one of your pockets. So you have two of the medium size pockets. So take your second pocket, again, line it up and punch your couple of holes in it. Create a photo tag and add some ribbon. And you have that. Now this already, this pocket already has lines on it. So it's like, oh, this is just great to add some journaling or thoughts for, for summertime. So use that for your journaling. If you have your own porch rules, go ahead and list your porch rules there. The next um, blank page you wanna pull out is all the diagonal lines, the big lines. Go ahead, add photos. We added four photos here onto this page and then took our Feel the Breeze word icon, cut that out and adhere that with pop dots. Back side of that has all these hearts, which are great. So then we took a pocket that had the heart on it, made a small little photo tag. First, you're gonna to want to adhere your photo, then adhere your pocket, create a photo tag, put your ribbon in. Now, when we go and attach ribbon like that, so you have all of your ribbons here. And if I wanna see my polka dots on both sides, see on the green ribbon, when we just made that, we just folded that in half and took our little tiny attacher and stapled that on. On my polka dots, because I want to see the polka dots on both sides of this ribbon. So I'm gonna take my ribbon and I'm almost gonna make like a V with it. So you're gonna take your ribbon like this, fold it like that. Then when you trim, put your diagonal, diagonal. That way then you are going to see your polka dots on both sides of the ribbon. A lot of times I'll cut my diagonal first or I will leave a lot of extra so that I can get it placed and then go ahead and follow along my dots and make my diagonal cuts 
on my ribbon. And again, that's a simple taking your straight ribbon, just folding a V into that. And then that way, when you go to staple it on, you'll see your polka dots on both sides versus just taking it and folding it over this way. Which you can do that also, because then it looks like you have two ribbons. You have a plain sided and a dotted sided ribbon. So you could also do that. Key. Our next page, the little die cut page here. Now this is where we use that Hello to Happy piece that we cut out and we saved from other paper. Add your photos, then Hello Happy with pop dots. Add another photo and a little diagonal stripe border. The next page also is one that is a little smaller so that we framed it so you're seeing the till all the way around. That you're going to cut from, you've got this eight by eight page here that we, when we cut out our, our front cover embellishments, this is the piece that goes right there. Could use this for some journaling or a photo. Add another photo onto that page. Pull out one of your badges, adhere your badge. The back side of that is another great page that already has the lines and very faintly, if you can see here, all the details. This could be another great place to add the events of the day or the weekend or your summer. Then our next one is a blank page that has the die cut clouds in the bottom. We're going to take another one of our small pockets and adhere that. So adhere our photo and our border striped um, stripe border, take that, adhere your pocket on there and create a photo tag and to put into that page. Back side of that, we added another photo, just to read a book, something nice to do on a summer day, add again a border. This one here has so many fun summer icons going on. So you truly could put a photo like right in here and then you see your little flip-flops, your popsicles, or let's right away. We just left this blank, but you could create, put some photos on this page if you want to add more photos. The back side of that is a great little word place. We've got a summer afternoon. We're going to relax with friends, which we love. Um, we, we laughed um, until we think we'll... Uh, until we'll die, then so maybe not, but um, barefoot on a summer night. And that kind of, kind of pleats that page. Again, if you want to add more photos, certainly just um, add more photos onto that. Our next page I'm going to pull out is a, it has a little scallopy along the bottom edge, the side edge. A little, a little sunshine, everything is better. Pull that page out, add your photo, add your ribbon. Back side of that, we've got this really fun floral. Add your couple of photos. Smell the flowers is one of the word icons. That's completed. And this great, really fun die cut page that has the diagonal lines die cut into it. Take your photo and kind of weave it through. Weave through your summer um, words here. And that came from this page here. So cut out that square and you can weave that through. We added a badge. Then on the back side of that, we added another photo. Took a piece of our ribbon and added that to our photo. Folded it in half and clipped the edge so that you've got that really fun little um, spiky edge there. And then add a badge onto that. Now on your last page, we have our polka dots that's already punched for us. And you have one large big pocket. We went ahead and we adhere that right there, kind of center. So you've got a little bit of polka dot showing all around. We wanted to miss our holes. Now, if you wanted to slide that all the way over, you could and punch this and leave that separate if you needed an extra page there in your album. But we put this on here. When you fill these pockets, they're um, pretty substantial. They're made out of 80 or 100 point cardstock. So they're pretty substantial in that. We wanted to give a little stability to the back cover. So that is why we went ahead and just put a, a lot of adhesive on the back here and stuck that right down onto the back cover. Up there, and that is your back cover. You've got our fun little quilted design on the back side. Now, because this is such a simple album, we're just using our, our ring scent to bind it. So you're gonna line up all your pages, the pages that are cut a little narrower, like our little floral page. When you go ahead and put your rings through, make sure that that is slid all the way to the left. 
so that you catch the little holes there. The same when you get to your um, your pockets, they go all the way to the left so that they catch um, with the rings. Now, if this is gonna get a lot of use and have a lot of kids looking at this and opening and closing and playing with it, you might want to get the little um, clear ring protectors and put those onto each of, the, of your holes around your pages there. But as you see, this is just such a fun, simple album. Sometimes, you know, with pine cone press kits, you could be hours and hours making a project. This one is just such a fun project that you can get completed in a simple afternoon. It's gonna be longer going through and getting all your photos prepped for it than creating the album. But you'll have a really fun album here. Now, if you like this and you like the quickness and that, um, on our site, on pineconepressdesign.com, we have five more different kits that are kind of in this feeling that they're a little more simple to put together, a little more basic um, album. So please go to Pinecone Press Design, check that out, and enjoy your summer days. Thanks. This is Deb. Bye-bye.